welcome back again for another DIY video and for this video we will turn this ordinary mouse to hot swappable switches get ready so I'll be using this switch oh. so let's open this mouse See, it's very ordinary a normal mouse so by the way if you want to know how to make this ret retractable cable organizer uh, I will link it here so this is the switch it's soldered so by meaning of making this hot swappable, we can change switches without any, without desoldering and soldering these switches. Let's desolder this. So by the way, if you want to do this mode, make sure that you have a basic knowledge in soldering. So let's put solder here and let's remove this. If your first time doing this just make sure that you put solder wire on the tip of the soldering iron and put this here dump it just touch the solder here so we'll be using this There you go. So let's clean this up with braided wires. You'll notice there's a solder pads here. Make sure that the solder pads are intact. Once the solder pads is removed you cannot solder this solder pads that is removed is a big no-no so in order to turn this mouse to hot swappable switches we need this this uh, milmax 0305 but you can also use milmax 7305 but for this mod i'll be using Milmax 0305 why because Milmax 0305 is long longer than the Milmax 7305 as you can see here Milmax 0305 is much easier to work with because the socket is much longer so you don't need to worry about accidentally soldering the holes here when using Milmax 7305 I always soldered I I always accidentally soldered this one the, the holes here so that's why I'm using Milmax 0305 because the socket is much longer but before you insert the Milmax 0305 here as you can see you can't insert it so we need to drill a hole here until we can insert this Milmax socket so we need this kind of tool this is a drill bit tool so we will manually drill it by using our hands so that we can so that we don't overdo it so it's up to you if you want to use power tool for this but for me I'll like it to do it manually so that I will not overdo it let's test it so 
so it's it's fully inserted as you can see here so once it is fully inserted we need to do something again to make we need to use this drill bit to make this a little bit to make the hole a little bit larger on top so that we can fully insert the milmac socket without the head popping on top as you can see the head is popping on top so we need to level that one by using this drill bit so I'll do it manually so that I will not overdo it so we need to do it manually so it will take much longer if you want to use rotary drill it's it's up to you oh I'm done so it is now leveled on to the board as you can see here you cannot see the head of the Milmax 0305 popping out on here so you do it on here so you do the drill on here so don't drill here because this is just a dummy this is just a dummy hole this is the switch and we will be putting a milmax socket here and here it's underneath the switch here and here let's install the second milmax socket it's already leveled onto the board it's up to you if you want to level it but for me I would level it so that so that there will be longer um, socket here so that we can easily solder this without soldering the holes here so that's the point so let's put tape here so that our milmax socket will stay in place I really suggest you cover this part that you'll not be soldering because one time I forgot to put tape here then the excess solder went on to the boards here and for some reason it damaged the board but fortunately I removed the excess solder by using this plastic wire brush so soldering here soldering paste here and let's put it on here there you go I use Milmax 7305 and I always accidentally solder the upper part the upper holes here let's now try to install our new switch here there you go new switch are now installed so what we did here just do it on here that's it and it clicks fine so let's try now our mouse so this is our mouse see this is now our hot swappable mouse so Well, let's fire so it's working properly let's go see see can use it okay Oh. 
and fire so as you can see it's working fine so there you go so there you go for mouse hot swappable switch modification so if you like this DIY video please click the like button and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe for more D DIY tutorials just like this one gaming tutorials key mapping tutorials and other reviews and other contents so that's it and see you in my next video get ready